no Eso es lo que pasa. Ok. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar on Nava Summer Courses 2015. My name is Julia, and I'm the Global Training Manager, so I'm responsible for explaining to people who are interested in our programs what the programs are about. And I'm glad to welcome today here with us Evelina Scrivani. Hello, Evelina. Ciao, Giulia. Thank, Thank you for joining. <laughs> I work at Nava Summer Programs Office. And I'm basically in charge of the uh, didactical development of uh, short programs, among which also summer courses. And I've been working at NABA um, since uh, 2008, so I've been seeing a lot of uh, summer students around. And I must say that summer courses have always been uh, a great success. Yeah. Thank you. And Evelina is really the walking witness of our <laughs> summer courses. She knows it all about us. So um, the purpose of today's webinar is to take you through what are the key features of our summer programs, and of course, to answer to any question that you might have regarding the content, as well as the application, as well as any curiosity that you might have. As you can see, you cannot speak loudly, but what you can do is you can write on the chat box that you see here on the bottom on the, on the right, you can write your questions, and we will address them as soon as possible, okay? So let's get started then. So first of all, Plans for next summer, our suggestion, of course, is come to see us in Milan. Why would you come in Milan in summer? First of all, because you would have the chance of seeing and experiencing what it means to spend a period of study in one of the world's design capitals. You would be coming in a place which is a hotspot for fashion, for design, which hosts a lot of related events throughout all the year, including summer itself. Furthermore, while well, you would be coming to Italy, and Italy is, I think, the first or second world destination for summer holidays, so maybe there is a reason for coming to see us. Uh, consider that Milano is very well located across Europe because you are pretty close to the seaside as well as to the mountains, and there are a lot of low-cost flights that can take you to any other European capital. So you would be in the heart of Europe, in the center of Italy, and most likely you would be able to really explore <coughs> the city and the design scene here as well as in the surroundings, let's say, abroad. Uh, I see that someone is having sound issues. Uh, Nuno, maybe you want to check your microphone because I think that the others are kind of okay. Let us know if you can improve it, okay? So, Milan, or what I was telling you, there are several good reasons to come and see us in Milan. There is one more, actually, because next year, Milan is going to host the Universal Expo. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the concept of the Expo. The Expo is a world exhibition that takes place periodically in different places in the world. And in 2015, it will be the turn of Milan. So people from all over the world will be coming from May until October to visit the huge exhibition area where every country will be exhibiting its own best practices and projects on a common topic. The common topic of the Expo is food, the title is Feeding the Planet, Energy for Life. So all the projects will be somehow related to this big topic of, uh, of food, of uh, nurturing. And so this is, I believe, one extra reason to come and visit Milan next summer. It's, it's going to be really a hot moment for all the world. What about our institution? So where would you be coming? I assume that some of you are already familiar with NABA. NABA stands for Nuova Accademia di Belle Arti. It's our institution which has been founded more than 30 years ago. We have a pretty strong reputation around the world. We are recognized for our academic excellence by the media, as well as by the ministry, as well as by the industry. And we are glad of offering a really international experience to our students. Consider that for summer courses, we usually have around what, 200 students from 50 nationalities, yeah, yeah, like so that. It's even, so. even more different to us. Yeah, yeah. So imagine hundreds of people from all over the world who come here and gather in the same period to study the same topic, but to pr uh, providing their different mindsets and so a lot of diversity, which creates a very stimulating environment. So a top institution offering you the opportunity of really interacting with people from all over the world. That would be the kind of experience that you would be living in Milano, in Nava, if you decide to join us next summer. 
few pictures about our campus because some of you might have been here but some might not the location i don't know if any of you have been in milan ever and if you are familiar with the navigli navigli is a very fancy area we consider it the center of the so to say movida so the nightlife there are a lot of clubs but there also are a lot of atelier of artists and designers we do have many of our alumni who have been uh, opening their own shop in the area and the campus is of course all offering uh, state-of-the-art infrastructures both in terms of IT and in terms of laboratories so for example if you will be taking a course in product design you will be accessing the materials lab if you will be taking fashion design you will be entering the fashion laboratory and so on right so you will have access to all the workshops that our students need at the Institute of so what would be the opportunity? Um, hold on a second that the, they are telling us we have some challenges, technological challenges here. Hello, hello. I hope it is getting better now. Anyone hearing us better than before? We try to fix the microphone. Oh, yes, great. <laughs> Thank you, Alina. Good to know. All right. So <laughs> we will try to speak as clearly as possible anyway. Okay. So um, as I was saying, what are the options for our students next year? So what will be all the opportunities for 2015 summer courses here at NABA? There are a series of main areas, actually eight main areas, which correspond to the various possible subjects three levels and common elements, the two weeks duration. Uh, now we will see the areas in detail. You see that they vary. There are from fashion to design, to the arts, to culture and lifestyle. All the summer courses last two weeks and they are divided in three different levels, beginner, intermediate and advanced. And this will depend on you, on what your background is and on what your expectations are. Let's start with the fashion design area, which is one of our actually highlight being in Milano, of course. So in fashion design, we have a series of courses that go run through the three sessions. You see that there is fashion design one on the first session, end of June, beginning of July. Fashion design two, let me see if I can draw for you. Um, fashion design number two, which runs from July 7 to July 17. And fashion design number three, which is actually a special name because it has a special focus, which is menswear design, which runs from July 21st to July 31st. On top of these three courses, which we consider to be, let's say, the main flow, then you have a special course, a focus one, which is accessory design, in case any of you is specifically interested in the accessories. And then on the third session, we also repeat the course number one, fashion design one. Consider that Fashion Design 1 is an introductory course. So if any of you will, is willing to approach fashion for the first time, that would be an option. And we have actually a special professor who would guide you through this. Tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, Evelina, we have a leading star of the fashion system in our Fashion Design 1 course, right? Her name is Benedetta Valzi. She will uh, take care of uh, uh, the theoretical part of Fashion Design 1. Uh, she will work uh, with another teacher will focus more on uh, uh, the development of the fashion collection, whereas Benedetta will provide you with an introduction on the fashion system with a special focus on Italy and Milano as one of the most well-known fashion capitals. And who is Benedetta Bartini? She was a top model, maybe you've heard about her. Uh, she's uh, now one of the uh, leading teachers and professor here uh, at NABA in our fashion department, but she will be able to bring her own personal uh, experience uh, as, a, as a model, as a journalist, as a, an expert of, of the fashion world. Benedetta Barzini was known for being part of the factory of Andy Warhol exactly. in the 80s. Yeah. Most of you weren't born yet, but you might want to Google <laughs> Andy Warhol factory and just make yourself an idea yeah. about what was going on in those years. So she's really pretty much of an insider of the fashion system. Always saying in the fashion area, we have the, the programs which are more focused on the fashion management. So for those of you who are interested in fashion, but maybe more in the business side instead of the creative side, we have a series of hybrid courses. 
So here you see the three sessions. How are the courses divided here? You have fashion image and styling, number one in the first session, and number two in the second session for people who are interested in the hybrid of creating an image and combining it. Okay, so uh, combining it on people. And then you have the evolution of the fashion styling on, set, on session three, which is visual merchandising, which is applying this ability of combining fashion styles to a space. Visual merchandising has to do with creating window shops, with creating fashion environments. So it's kind of an art direction applied to fashion. So fashion image and styling is about people. Visual merchandising is about spaces. So these would be the, the three main courses that flow one after the other. So you can decide if taking just one or one and two or two and three. And then on the third session, we still replicate course, the basic course, number one, which is actually one of our greatest successes because the professors here, they are a couple, a pretty a crazy, a crazy couple. Yeah. Say that? <laughs> their, uh, their name uh, is Mattori. They have founded a, a, a studio company. Uh, her, her name are Matteo Bardi, Orietta Pellizzari, and they have created this name Mattori. They are a real team. Uh, they are experts in uh, the fashion uh, trends and forecast uh, uh, industry, and they are also uh, fashion stylists and designers. Um, in their courses, you will be able to participate in a real photo shooting with uh, professional photographers, models, uh, makeup artists, so you will have a taste of the, the real profession of the fashion uh, stylist. So uh, it will be a great experience, yeah, and also fun because you will have also the opportunity of uh, uh, participating in a photo shooting in Milano or uh, in, in a Como in, in the past. Well. So uh, every time they change the kind of project, the focus, the theme, but for sure you, you will have a lot of fun. And by the way, if you go on the YouTube channel of the school and you look for summer styling, you can see the videos with some of the projects of the past years. I've seen several. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fashion styling, one, two, three, so to say, which is merchandising, and one again. If you are a pure marketing person on the other side, if you're interested in trends and business, but not on the creative side, these little lamp courses are for you. Fashion marketing and communication and fashion trend scouting. These ones are really focused on the ability to apply business skills to the fashion industry in the first, in a more classic sense, so marketing and communication that are common to all the businesses. And in the other, in trend scouting, this is really about the ability of finding out what is happening in the fashion world and transforming that into a trend interpretation to drive fashion business. So fashion for creatives was all the fashion design area, fashion management, for business or business like people okay now we change from fashion to design and let's see what we do offer for this summer in product and interior design we start by product design product design as you can imagine is one of the fundamentals of italian design because this is what made us famous in the world together with fashion so these are also among the most popular courses we have uh, in this case the chain goes from product design one to product design two and then the, let's say, specialized course, the advanced one, is focusing on light design. And we replicate, again, our little number one for people who could not attend in June, but they might attend in July. The professor that we have here are a team of, well, let's say, expert designers, and they're not all from Italy, which I think is interesting in the sense that what you realize when you approach Italian design is that a lot of the Italian design is actually design done by international people who have been learning the design, the Italian design methodology in their career here in Milan. One of the professors of this year is a guy from Cyprus, if I'm not wrong, yeah. who's been coming to Milan many years ago to study, and he's been here for now 10 years, 10 years 15 or something like that. Right. So, and he has really a strong background in the product and lighting design. His name is Nico, Nico Coronis. So you would get also the feeling from somebody who lives something like you, who came here to study and decided to stay, and he would be able, I guess, to share that feeling and that perspective. And he's a professor at Nava and Domus Academy as well. So uh, he's, a, he's, he's got a lot of experience in, in teaching uh, uh, both to profession, more professional students, but also to BA students. Yes. I've been to the design world with him a couple of times, and it's really like enlightening. 
he takes you through, he makes you discover all the hidden histories of, of the object, the tradition, the company. It's really, to me, amazing. <laughs> I would take this all. Okay, let's change area. So from product design, we now switch to interior design. So the design of spaces instead of the design of objects. So when it comes to interior design, we have the chain. You are now becoming familiar with the structure, I believe. So session number one, interior design number one for beginners. Session number two, interior design two for intermediate levels. Session number three, the advanced course. The focus in this case is on the hotels. So among all the interiors, you can apply interior design to homes, to retail, to business spaces, to public spaces, to transportation, or to hotels. We decided to focus on hotels because it's probably one of the areas where there is most business for interior designers, of course. And so then we replicate our little interior design number one. Um, what about the faculty of this session, Evelina? Do we have any special guests or interesting? Uh, in, interior design one and two is taught by uh, Francesco Librizzi and his team. Francesco is a, a quite famous architect here in, uh, in Milano. He's uh, also teaching uh, in our BA programs uh, and also in, uh, in the master programs in interior design. Uh, I've been working with him since uh, 2008 and I must say that uh, his courses are always uh, uh, a success because uh, he can bring his uh, mm, his passion for uh, the work of, uh, of for the, the profession of design, and he con can also uh, put the the, the, the pupils, uh, the students, in contact with the real world uh, of uh, of design. For example, mm, in the past, he has uh, um, put some of the students in contact uh, with, uh, with some companies with which uh, he, he was working uh, in order to give them an, an insight into, into the real job. And I see here on the chat box that there is a girl who is telling us that she, she attended interior design last summer. It was a great time. Good. <laughs> so, Alina, thanks for sharing. And Veronica, you wanted the final presentation. I know that our IT guys on the back will get back to you on this. So, um, oh no, thank you, Alina. <laughs> so we hope to, we look forward to welcoming you again next year, then. maybe to explore a different area. Um, let's move forward on the courses then. So now we explore a, mere, a bit more of an artistic environment, so visual and digital arts. So for people who don't feel designers, but maybe they feel more artists or they feel like technology guys, we have two different paths. One is more focused on photography, and it goes from photography one to storytelling photography to studio photography. The background idea is that we first teach you to work on the image on digital photography one, then we teach you how to tell stories through image, so how to create sequences if you want on storytelling photography, so number two. And then on the third session, studio photography, what we do is we focus more on how to realize a really professional image, how to really fine tune the kind of treatment of image that you make. So this would be one path. And here you see digital photography repeats as usual. And then we have the more handcraft approach, which has more to do with illustration. So in this case, if you're not digital photographers, but you are people who want to use your own hands, you want to explore drawing and to finalize drawing to something like illustration, then the path that we propose you is to go from hand illustration to digital illustration, so that you start from your hand, and then you learn how you can enhance that, how you can also save time in using technology to, to balance your skills, and how you can then transform this into storyboarding. What we repeat, hand illustration one. That's a pretty common scheme. So here you see two possible paths, the photography one and the illustration one. Am I mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's Captain. right. Captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For studio photography, I would, would like to highlight that the, the third course, the advanced level course, will take place in a real studio, in a real photographic studio. The professor, Professor Maino, will make available his own studio. He's a professional photographer. So it, the, the entire course will take place in his studio with all the equipment, the professional equipment. Um, and in, in this way, students will have the, the opportunity for nine days to work as real photographers. It's a nice yeah, studio. It's a nice Minus studio. studio. Yeah. Another nice one. <laughs> so, 
So, um, what about other courses, extra courses, so to say? From last year, we've been developing a collaboration with a partner school, which is Media Design School in New Zealand. So, um, we have new courses this year, which we're going to present to you, which we'd like to share, which are more technological. So, if digital photography was not, so to say, uh, technological enough, here you have an even more high-tech path. In this case, we are proposing you two possible ways. One is for people who are crazy about gaming. So if you feel you, if you spend your time in games, if you want to come to Italy in summertime, but you will also spend your time close playing to something, game design could be an option for you. So the course in game design one really takes you through the basics of what it means to imagine, to design a game. And then this would be in this case, not evolving, but would be complemented by understanding the basics of how do you create and animate a character. So if you are interested in this magic design world, consider that Media Design School, our partner school, is probably one of the top schools in the world for all that has to do with digital animation and gaming. And so they would bring you their knowledge in the field. The faculty would be hybrid between Italy and New Zealand. So one possible path is gaming and animation. And the other one is about visual effects. If you are more interested in the effects applied to film or to cartoons, for example, then you could decide to follow the visual effects plus motion graphics path. So this is also an option for high-tech people if we have any, any guests today who, are, who belong to this, to this area, okay? Uh, now, what if you are more people who are curious about Italy in general? What if you just want to get a glance, to get a better feeling of the expo? Or what if you're planning to come with your parents and maybe your parents want to do something with us while you're in class taking the interior or product or fashion design classes? We have created this year, because of the expo, a special package of courses, which are the courses in culture and lifestyle. Sorry, we are having a Zooming uh, trouble here. OK. So uh, Italian culture and lifestyle are a specific set of courses which are designed to run through all the sessions. As you see, we have uh, five sessions instead of three, like the others, which run from the end of June. First three sessions are the same as the others. So end of June, end of July. But then we have two extra special sessions in August. These are focused on topics that can be interesting for everyone. You have Design the Expo, which is basically an exploration of what would be represented at the expo, right? Yeah. Exactly. A visit of the expo, an analysis of the pavilions, uh, but also of, uh, the, the project of uh, urban regeneration of Milano on the occasion of the expo. So it's going to be an exploration of expo and the city. Exactly. And then these cultural tours, these are also among our bestsellers. But they've been in the summer portfolio since 10 years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> The, and these are meant as journeys throughout the city of Milan to, to visit the hot spots of fashion and design in, in the city. And throughout this exploration, uh, students are asked to develop a personal project um, using their, their own skills. For example, if a student is particularly good at uh, uh, taking pictures, then the personal project would be based on photography. If another student is particularly good at sketching or drawing, then his personal project will be based on this particular technique. So it's quite free and uh, uh, part uh, of the lessons will be outside in field trips uh, and part of the lessons will be in Nava on campus uh, to develop to work uh, at the project. So this will be also an, an interesting opportunity. If you are not sure about which area better fits for you, or if you just want to get a feeling, if you want to come and explore this famous Milan and understand a bit more of what makes it so special. So that could be interesting for a, a pretty open audience. Then we have the <clears> course in food design, which is proposed exactly thinking about the expo. So if the expo topic is the food, we thought, well, maybe we can approach food from our perspective, which is a design perspective. And so instead of proposing a cooking course, since we're not a cooking school, we propose a food design course. And then the last one, the drawing and painting. This is a pretty much an historical bestseller of the school. It hasn't a specific link with design, but how many people dream to come to Italy for a summertime and spend some time drawing and painting? Right. That's correct. Professor Luciana Meazza, 
She's a, a teacher in our semester abroad programs and the course delivery, that is evening classes for uh, people who work during the, the daytime. Um, and she will take participants to the drawing and painting course uh, throughout Milano. You will have the opportunity to visit uh, some uh, places famous for their architecture or to visit museums uh, like the Pinacoteca di Brera, Museo del Novecento, uh, other important places from a, a, an artistic and cultural point of view. And during these uh, uh, visits, uh, you will have the opportunity to draw uh, and make sketches and then will be perfectioned in class in the atelier, in the drawing atelier, under the guidance of uh, the professor Luciana. She's also an historical professor for us, right? Yeah, <laughs> she's been teaching with us uh, since, uh, I don't know, many, many years. So she's also an experienced teacher. Yeah, 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 an experienced teacher. Yeah. So we must say, maybe I forgot to tell it before, that we've been running summer courses for almost 10 years now. So some of these courses were really proposed since the very beginning, and they have a pretty long track record success <laughs> so to say so these would be the courses for people who want to come to milan they can also be integrated with the other summer courses you can combine the sessions as you wish you can take one design one fashion one lifestyle or you can decide how you want to move them around depending on your interest and on the interest of the people who come with you of course um i see some questions coming um uh, to adrian well, the, we are also offering online courses or just campus-based. We do also offer online courses, but that's a different, a totally different kind of program. Maybe we can follow up later via email if you want, because this is more about a, an intensive two weeks on campus experience. So it's totally different from the online. And uh, as of uh, the question about professional or academic, hmm, it depends what you mean by this. Um, one thing that maybe we hadn't touched a lot based on is the methodology of the summer courses. How do these courses happen? They are a hybrid of theoretical classes and practical project work. So the students get theory, they get um, traditional lectures, so to say, and then they get a lot of homework, a lot of project work to do in class and a lot of research to do in the city and at home. So they belong to our academic system. Actually, we can also issue credits for them, yeah. correct? So European three. credits. Three. Every three. session of two weeks can issue three uh, European academic credits. So they can be considered academic. If then you want to consider them, if your question is if they are suitable also for professionals, the answer is yes. Usually the advanced courses are conceived for professionals. Let's take as an example, let me go back to, uh, let's say, interior design okay so when you see the sessions number one and two which are introductory in tier one and tier two are more conceived for students but when it comes to interior design for hotels for example the idea of a course like this is that you are already working in the field of design you already know about the specificities of designing for hotels and so you want to take that specific course am i being correct that's correct yeah yeah, yeah. so advanced level Courses are meant for students in their last years of university studies in that specific field or young professionals who have already some working experience in that specific sector. So we could say that the courses are hybrid. They are partly professional and partly academic. It depends on which course, on which project, and on the audience. Okay. Let me go back. Uh, let me see if I'm lucky. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, director, invisible director. So uh, the last courses that we offer are also one of the projects that we started with a long time ago. So we are proud exactly. of presenting them again. It's a collaboration between Milan and London and University of the Arts London in Central St. Martins. So students who don't have enough with Milan or they think that Milan is not enough, they can also decide to take this hybrid program. So they would be spending part of the summer in London and part of the summer in Milan. These courses are mostly in the fashion area, actually in the fashion and fashion communication area. You can see here the titles. So our direction for fashion is the shortest one. It is one week in London and one week in Milan. And that takes place from July 6th to 17th. So the session dates are a bit different from the others. The other courses are much robust. They are longer. They last four weeks each. And you see they have to do with portfolio building for fashion design, fashion styling, and fashion trends in Europe. So these are four-week courses, pretty intense ones. 
could take place, the first part in London and then the second part here in Milan. So if you are very much into fashion, but you don't want to get only Milan because you think it's not enough, <laughs> there are people who explore Milan for their entire lives, but everything may be subjective. You can decide to start in London and then come here to Milano to complete the second one. Uh, I see a question here. May, can someone apply in two courses at the same time or will they overlap? So when they are, if it's in the same session, they do overlap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because classes uh, uh, usually take place uh, from uh, 10 a.m. up to 4 p.m. with one hour break from uh, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. And so uh, courses running in the same period, in the same session, will overlap. There's no way of taking two of them. However, what you can do is always you can select one course in one session and one course in another session, and you can combine them. Yeah. This way, that's the solution that we can offer, because it's uh, otherwise, yeah. Okay, so um, this was for us kind of a, an overview, let's say, of the various areas. Now, I would like to quickly touch base on the technical details, and then I hope that you have, well, we are open to answer specific questions if you have curiosities, if you have. Consider that having Evelina here is a big special honor because she's very much into her academic office creating programs. So if you have specific questions, feel free to, to go ahead and ask them to her now. Quickly, how does applying to a summer course work? It is pretty simple because the idea for us is that you come to the summer courses to experiment the city and the school. So uh, we just require you to be able to speak and understand English. You don't have to be have a perfect English. We do not require you any certification. Because if you decide to come and invest your summer with us, you, we assume that you're doing it knowing what you do. So we don't require any certificate, but of course, you have to speak English. Otherwise, how we communicate. It's not like going in the US or in UK. It's English spoken by Italians like us, yeah. <laughs> but still, you have to. Um, in terms of the course requirement, we do not put any kind of entry specific request. We recommend you to read the, the syllabi, the course descriptions, and understand what is suitable for you. So if somebody enrolls into, um, I don't know, um, uh, interior design for hotels, for example, and has never designed an interior space in their life, we can accept you. But then when you are going to be in class, we're going to be some travel. Yeah. Yeah. So we really give it to the responsibility of the student. We are open to counsel you. If you have doubts, maybe I would like to do this or that, you can inquire to us. You can send us your portfolio or your curriculum. This can help us in counseling you towards the best program. But then the final decision is yours. We trust you. Okay. Um, and we tend to accept students from 18 years. So if you are less than 18, if you are 17 and a half, we can take your uh, application into consideration. Please contact us and we will see on a case by case basis. Um, quickly, how does the application and oh, there's a question coming. They could both work. Depends how much you want to feel challenged. If you have Interior Design 1, you know that you're going to start from, from scratch. From scratch yeah. Interior Design 2 might be maybe a bit more interesting uh, for you, but it depends on how you want to, how much commitment also you want to put into the program. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you. Um, so how does the application process work? As we were saying, since we do not uh, have to make any formal evaluation, the application is very simple. You can apply either online or offline. If you decide to apply online, you just have to go on our summer courses website. Here is the direction, the, the link, and you just it takes you through all the steps. You have to insert your data and you and you make the, the payment directly online. Or if you want to do it offline, or if you are in touch with some counselor in your country, you, you can also do it through them. Um, so we can see, uh, we can send you, or you can ask us the offline application form. It's basically a paper document. And just fill it in and send it to summer at naba.it, as you're seeing here. Uh, OK, what is the deadline? 
We asked you to enroll not later than three weeks before the beginning of the courses, because otherwise we won't be able to manage applications. However, if I can make you a special recommendation, do it as soon as possible. And this is for two reasons. Number one reason is the tuition fees. Here you see the tuitions uh, for two weeks, four weeks, and six weeks. And here you see the special condition of the early bird. So if you enroll within the end of December, so within this year, within the next basically weeks, you are entitled to get a 10% discount on the tuition fee. So I would tell you, if you are thinking about coming, consider that you can get a reduction on the tuition fee if you enroll by the end of the year. Uh, and these are the fees. And then there is another very important reason why I would recommend you to enroll as soon as possible, which has to do with accommodation. As I was telling you earlier, Next year, everybody's going to come. Oops, sorry. Everybody's going to come to Milano for the expo. I can tell you that already now, <coughs> if you try and call some hotels, a lot of places are fully booked. We have a series of special options within our dorms, within our structure, a network of partner homes, which <coughs> we have some places reserved. For. We are losing our guests. Sorry. So, um, if you enroll <coughs> as soon as possible, basically, if you enroll within December or January at the latest stage, we can still ensure you that we will have a good place to a good price. The later you go down the year, the more people are going to come to Milan and the more difficult it's going to become to, have, to find a good place in good conditions. So the recommendation that I would really make you is, if you are interested, <coughs> please hurry up. Do not wait the last week. And uh, I see some people from Latin countries here. So this is a special recommendation for Latin people who tend to be last minute people, just like us Italians. Please do not wait last minute, right? because it's really important that you come as soon as you can. OK? okay. <laughs> so um, I see that our colleagues have been posting here on the chat the link to apply online, you can see it. So you can click on it and directly access the page. Uh, thank you, Invisible Director. And, uh, and I think that here you have a recap of both the website and also the email and also the phone number if you want to call us. There is our colleague Milan, easy to remember, Milan like Milan, who is going to get back to you as soon as possible. I would say that in terms of technical information, I think we covered most of the elements. So I don't know, Evelina, if you have anything to add. And in the meanwhile, this is open for questions. So go ahead and write any curiosity or question that you have down under the chat box. Said if you have any any questions uh, about the courses uh, or the content, uh, or if you need any guidance in choosing a course, uh, please write us. Uh, or maybe you can write to our colleague Milan, and then you will get in touch with me with the short programs didactical office. For for more information. I see that many people are typing, so let's see the questions we're going to get. Multiple people. Do you visit design studios in interior design course? Of course. Yes, yes. Of course, of course. We, we, have, we have forgotten to mention that uh, all the courses include field trips, that is, uh, uh, visits to uh, places of interest for that specific course. For example, fashion design one or fashion design two, you will have the opportunity to visit the fashion quadrilatero, it is uh, the fashion area here in Milano, visit showrooms, uh, um, shops that have a special meaning uh, for the sector, museums. So uh, each course uh, includes uh, uh, some field trips uh, because the, the summer courses are uh, <clears throat> a course, so the content, a part of content, but also a part of experience in the city of Milano. And this applies also to interior design. Of course, design. of course. Last year they visited the Triennale Design Museum, uh, Museo Achille Castiglioni. So every year they plan some visits to museums or uh, and showrooms and studios. <clears throat> then I see another question. What is the average age of the attendees? That depends yes. a lot on the courses. Usually what happens is that on number one, or an interior design or product. On, on the first session, we have the youngest students, 18, 19, 20, 20. Months, right? On the number two and number three, the age goes a little bit up because, of course, on number two, we usually have students from first, second, up to third year of university. 
And then number three, we have also young professionals. So I would say that it varies between 18 and 30. Can I say yeah. that? Yeah. And then we have the experience courses uh, that like the cultural tours uh, that are open to a wider public, uh, to a wider audience. So it happens that we have uh, people who are uh, a bit uh, older, more adults. Uh, so people maybe who would like to, to spend their summer time here in Milano and uh, attend a course uh, to, to improve uh, their, their skills or to get to know uh, the city from a design perspective. So there is no restriction. Or we have the parents. The parents as well, <laughs> exactly. I was seeing another picture. Which professors will be on hotel design course? Uh, yeah, his name is Tim Power. Tim Power is a design professor of our uh, design department. He also teaches in our uh, BA program mm -hmm. in, uh, in design. And he's English. He's uh, American. American. Yeah. Uh, a global perspective. Yeah. An American yeah. designer in yeah. an American in Milan. Yeah. Would you please also send me the example of final presentation? I guess that the office is going to follow up on this, so not taken. We don't have it right now. No. Uh, more questions coming. I see. I see a question coming from the art management. However, you have fashion management and we can have partner institutions. Can we recommend your institutions to take art management? Well, Dinara, the thing is, we do have a strong arts management program, but we have it it's a long one. It's not a summer course. If I had to think about arts management, in, you're meaning summertime, right? So maybe in the US. Uh, hmm. Let's do a, can you leave us your email or write an email to summer at nava.it so maybe we can send you, let me think about it for a minute and maybe we can send you some tips because I would have to investigate for a minute, right? Now maybe you have some ideas. No. We should we should look for a minute and and see if we can propose you something, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Christopher. So you're welcome. I don't see any more questions coming, so <laughs> anyway, if any question comes to your mind, you can always contact us and write us later on. And uh, I think we can then wrap this up. So thank you all for being with us today. Uh, can you also learn about our long-term art management course? Sure, we will send you, of course. Um, all right. So then any question that you get in the future, you can write us to summer at number.it. And uh, I think we are done by today. So thank you all for being with us. Thank you. And uh, we hope to see you yeah. this see summer. You <laughs> <in Milano. laughs> Bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you.